first time ko mag ganito ah. So for today's video guys, I'm not gonna be using my phone because me as a vlogger, I am actually recording my videos using my cell phone and editing them on my cell phone. So for today, I borrowed my husband's camera which is a Sony um, CX6000 ata to. So yan yung ginagamit ko ngayon with the mic output. Welcome back to my channel. This is Apple, your Elonga vlogger. And for today's video, guys, I wanted to share with you my YouTube story and at the same time, kung paano ako kumita sa YouTube. Kasi yung YouTube ko, guys, it's not something that I plan to do. Um, it's not something na grabe yung investment ko para kumita sa YouTube. So, um, it just so happened that I was blessed and got this opportunity to be able to have my YouTube channel monetized. Magsimula tayo sa una, I actually created my YouTube channel back in July of 2008. That's 10 years ago guys, yes. Sobrang tanda na ng YouTube ko. Kasing tanda niya yung channel ni na Ancloots, ni na Anakai. Um, at iba pang mga vloggers. I created my channel for the purpose na lagayan ko siya ng aking mga videos. So, ginawa ko siyang storage kasi I don't want my memory or my phone exhausted with all those files and delete everything. Kasi memories yun eh. So, I made YouTube as my online storage. 2016 came, I actually made um, a certain recipe. So, nakita ko to sa isang Facebook um, page or isang Facebook post on how to make blueberry cheesecake. It's actually a no-bake blueberry cheesecake. So, what I did, ginawa ko, ginawa ko yung, yung recipe na yon, and then, vinidio ko siya. And during that time, guys, nung nag-video ako ng no-bake blueberry cheesecake, I was just using my phone. It was an iPhone 5C when I created that video. And, um, parang tutorial siya. And then, I uploaded it on my um, YouTube channel. Again, of course, my purpose of doing so is that para mabalikan ko yung video in the future. Kung gusto kong gumawa ulit ng no-bake blueberry cheesecake, it will be easier for me to, you know, follow the steps because I already did it before. Kasi ako yung tao na hindi, um, hindi ko talaga forte yung magluto-luto o gumawa ng mga pagkain. So, yun. Tagakain lang ako. Yeah. And then, that's it. I left YouTube, niwan ko yung account, and suddenly, I came back after a few months. Siguro mga around, anong buwan ba yun? January 2016 ko siya in-upload. Mga after three months siguro, binalikan ko yung channel ko. Nagulat ako kasi meron siyang 27,000 views. Hindi ko makalimutan yun guys kasi yun yung first day na nakita ko na yung isang video na in-upload ko, nagkaroon siya ng 27,000 views. As in, 27,000. So, hindi ako makapaniwala, guys. At that time, napaisip ako, um, sabi ko, gagawa ako ng another videos pa. But before that, and then I found this um, tab in YouTube na Creator Studio. So, Creator Studio, this is where you actually um, change the settings of your YouTube channel and everything about your YouTube account. And this Creator Studio, ngayon, YouTube beta na siya. Now, so Creator Studio, pag pumunta ka under sa channel, um, you will see their, um, ang tawag doon, uh, features ata. Sinulat ko siya eh, kasi baka makalimutan ko. Yung part na yon is yung status and features. So doon, makikita mo yung mga settings, kung yung account mo pwede bang i-monetize. At that time, hindi pa siya enabled yung monetization niya. So, sabi ko sa sarili ko, I'm gonna create another video. Baka mag, maging patok siya ulit. And I did not even think na ganito karami yung ma-receive ko na views. I created another two more videos and that's how to make leche plan and how to make mango float. Mango float. <laughs> yun yung term ko sa video na yun. So, how to make mango float. 
after a month or so, nagulat ako guys, ang daming views. Actually, yung how to make mango float na video ko, yun pa yung mas madaming views kesa sa no-bake blueberry cheesecake na, na video ko. So, na-amaze ako guys. And then, I came back to the settings sa Creator Studio ng YouTube. And the option for monetization ay na-enabled na. By the way guys, pag na-enable nyo na yung monetization nyo sa YouTube, um, ililink nyo yung account nyo sa Google AdSense kasi hindi talaga yung YouTube yung nagpapasahod sa atin. It's Google AdSense. So pag na-link nyo na yung YouTube account nyo doon, um, papadala na kayo ng um, Google AdSense ng ganitong letter. Ito. Na-receive ko siya January 2017. And yung ganito is for verification ng address nyo. Tapos, meron siyang pin sa loob. Y yung pin na yon yun yung ilalagay nyo sa um, Google AdSense account nyo para magkaka-payout na kayo. Um, nagkaroon na ako ng option to modify or to make changes on the settings. So, sa Google AdSense, guys, um, you can only receive your payout pag na-reach nyo yung minimum na threshold. So, yung minimum na threshold is $100. But before tayo pumunta sa threshold, guys, um, prior to getting your account monetized, meron kayong um, kailangang requirement na i-reach meron kayong requirement na dapat i-reach para ma-enable yung monetization nyo. So, in my case, sa time ko, because it was way back 2016, pag nagkaroon ka lang ng at least 10,000 views, automatic, pwede ka nang ma-enable sa monetization. So, yun, yun yung nangyari sa akin. But, After 2017, it was back in February 2018 when YouTube actually changed their terms and conditions or the requirement for you to be eligible sa monetization. So yung ginawa nila, kailangan dapat meron kang 1,000, 1,000 uh, subscribers plus 4,000 watch hours. So hours yun guys ha. Um, if you're gonna uh, divide 4,000 watch hours, divide it by 60 per minute, kailangan magkaroon ka ng 240,000 minutes na views sa YouTube or sa, sa iyong channel. So, accumulated yun, guys. Hindi yun para sa isang video lang. It's accumulated for your whole channel. So, again, 1,000 subscribers plus 4,000 watch hours o 240,000 minutes watch time. So, yun guys. And then, once na-meet mo na yun, meron kang makikita sa um, account mo or sa creator studio mo na pwede mo na siyang i-enable to be a YouTube partner. Yun. After that, pwede ka nang ma-monetize. But, hindi siya agad-agad guys. Kasi, yun nga, you can only um, get your or you can only get paid sa YouTube pag once na-verify mo na yung account mo using the pin na pinadala nila through letter. And amaze ako guys kasi yung YouTube channel ko hindi siya something na pinilit ko na gawin. It suddenly came out. So there. So nasayahan ako guys and right now yung video ko na how to make mango float Almost 1 million views na siya guys sa YouTube. If you're gonna check that, if you're gonna search it, it will show sa mga top, sa top searches. I think second siya or third sometimes. You will see it right away. Actually, nakatulong talaga yung mga bashers sa, sa video ko na yon, Kasi binabash nila yung grammar ko eh. I was speaking in English on that video for the reason that I want to share, I want the whole world to know kung paano gumawa ng recipe na to. Because this is a well-known recipe or a well-known dessert here in the Philippines. So I wanted to show it to the world. That's why it was in English. But it wasn't my intention to um, actually 
have it in like yung mga sinasabi kasi nila wrong grammar ganon yung pronunciation mali so I felt bad at first but later on I actually um, transitioned it to like my motivation kasi pag maraming nagbabash every time na um, nagko-comment sila sa aking um, video na yon nagpi-play automatic yung video and then so ginagawa ko pag may nagko-comment nagbabash sa akin nire-replyan ko sila nagpapasalamat ako thank you <laughs> ganun kasi totoo naman eh every time that they're gonna open my uh, video it will play the ads will play and then yun kumikita ako sa YouTube uh, maraming ads mara mas more yung monetization once your YouTube account or your Google AdSense is already eligible for monetization or is already activated already verified um, for um, getting payouts or getting paid you have an option to choose kung anong mode of payment mo so for the mode of payments meron siyang wire transfer Western Union at saka check so what I did I I selected the wire transfer which um, I will connect or link my personal bank account sa Google AdSense and then automatic doon nila uh, i-deposit yung payment mo. So at that time, it was my first time and it was just really a good timing as well when I updated the payment method kasi at that time I'm already at 100 something dollars um, during the time actually 110 dollars na yung money ko sa Google AdSense so pumunta ako sa bank ginet ko yung, uh, kinuha ko yung code ng bank for wire transfer and update ko sa account ko and hindi ko nga alam guys na meron palang mga cut off sa YouTube so there um, it was just in time kasi pumunta ako sa bank 19 yung date na uh, yung date na napunta ako sa bank is 19 and then on that same day in update ko yung Google Adsense ko and after I updated it hindi ko alam yung payout pala ng, ng Google Adsense is every 21st of the month so of course you have to make sure that any changes on your Google Adsense account has to be done on or before the 20th of the month because by the 21st, automatic ang system nagpa-process na ng payment. And then after a few days, you will receive it. During Western Union, you will receive it right away. Kung bank, it will show after like um, one or two business days, which is fine naman. So there, I received my first payout, guys, for the amount of, that was March 2017 when I got my first payout. And it was $110. Nasaya na ako, guys. Kahit ganong amount lang yung nakuha ko. Parang, ang, ang sarap sa feeling na kumikita ka sa isang bagay na hindi mo ini-expect that you're gonna get something from it. ba? So, nag-get nyo yung ibig ko sabihin. And then, after that, nag-continuous lang yung pagdami uh, ng views ng video ko na yon until such time na nag-upload ako ng mga other videos and I also learned the other channels na mga sikat mga sina Ann Klutz, Anna Kai, um, Michelle D ang dami nila, na-amaze ako sa kanila guys kasi yung ginagawa nila, nag-review lang sila ng mga, ng mga products na ginagamit nila so what I did nag-transition ako from the most budget friendly and affordable most budget friend, budget friendly and easiest um, recipe um nag transition ako sa pag review ng mga products ngayon nakaka receive na ako ng mga pr products which is um actually really good for me kasi meron ako mga libre, libreng items which i can use personally as well now the subscribers it doesn't count on your monetization. The only thing or the only advantage of that, kasi pag marami kang subscribers, whenever you upload a video, pag marami kang subscribers, nano-notify sila. So, once they're notified, they will definitely click that that message of notification on their end, and then from there, nagkakaroon ng views yung channel mo. 
So, yun yung, yung advantage doon. And then, after that, after ko na-receive yung first payout ko sa YouTube, um, the second payout that I got was September of 2017. And that was for the amount of $125.22. And at that time, dumadami na talaga yung views ko sa aking video na how to make mango float. <laughs> Kinokote ko talaga siya kasi yun talaga yung word na kinote nila eh, mango. It's not mango. It's not mango. It's mango. Okay, fine. It's mango. So there. That's my second payout. $125.22. And then from there, napaisip ako guys na um, I'm earning this money sa YouTube. Um, I could actually earn more ipunin ko yung yung ano yung yung funds ko sa Google AdSense and then why not buy it a vlogging camera so there nagkaroon ako ng goal na I want to earn more gusto ko ng vlogging camera I was eyeing on the Canon M6 at that time so mga around dapat maka reach ako mga around seven hundred dollars to buy that camera so wala akong investment talaga guys sa aking gamit to create my YouTube channel. Yun lang. Um, yung time lang and effort, dun, yun lang yung investment ko sa aking YouTube channel. Pero, kumikita ako. So, there. Napakasaya lang. So, yun na yun, guys. I decided na ipunin ko muna yung pera ko sa, sa Google AdSense para pangbili ko ng vlogging camera. And then, 2018 came. Um, actually guys, noong December 2017, amazed din ako kasi on that month alone, nakapag-earn ako ng $150 sa aking Google AdSense. Kasi dahil yon sa how to make mango float na video at saka how to make leche plan. Kasi every month, I mean, on that month, maraming taong nag- ano, nag uh, search ng mga easy way on how to make desserts kasi they would definitely add that sa kanilang Noche Buena, Christmas, and New Year. So, there guys. Um, so, inipon ko muna yung pera ko sa YouTube and May 2018, I already got $315 sa aking YouTube or Google AdSense account. And, hindi ko... Ayo ko sana ng withdrawin yon, but June 2018 is the seventh birthday of my daughter. I don't have much at that time para sa isang magarbong seventh birthday. June 25th, June 25, yun yung seventh birthday niya. And sa sinabi ko nga kanina, yung payout ng Google AdSense is every 21st of the month. Now, on that day, the 20th of the month. Nag-decide ako sa self ko, sana ko kukuha ng pera kung kailangan kung, kung gusto kong magkaroon ng 7th birthday yung anak ko. Pwede namang hindi, walang 7th birthday, okay lang naman yun. But I was thinking, I only have one daughter. She's my only child and bakit ko palalampasin yung, yung time ng 7th birthday niya, minsan lang naman mangyari to compared sa um, compared sa ipunin ko yung pera na yan, bibili ko ng vlogging camera. It's just a material thing. But, having a 7th birthday for your only daughter is something memorable for her. Not only for her, but for everyone in your family. So there. On the 20th of the month, I decided to change the threshold of my Google AdSense account. Because my threshold, nilagay ko siya sa $1,000 para makareach ako ng that amount para sa vlogging camera. So, change ko yung threshold niya to $300. It was a, a little hard decision for me because I'm gonna let go of the amount na pambili ko ng vlogging camera ko. But, I'm a mom. So, you're still gonna think first your daughter before yourself. Change ko yung threshold to $300. $300 and then by the 21st I got a notification on my Gmail account that the amount of $315 and 1 cent has been blah 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 like that. So yon, na wire transfer siya sa account ko, na receive ko yung pera after 2 days and I had only like 5 days to prepare for my daughter's 7th birthday.
and it was all fun it was um it was a very memorable a very memorable seventh birthday for her for her so there parang naiyak ako <laughs> yun guys so nakatulong talaga yung youtube at that time sa akin so sabi ko ma earn ko naman ulit yung ano eh i i can earn this money again so there after ng birthday niya of course nag earn ulit ako sa youtube or i changed my threshold again to $1000 but then <laughs> september came i really need more funds nag reach ako ng $114 by september so the 20, the 20th of september i changed again the threshold to $100 para makuha ko yung funds na yun <laughs> Grabe, I really need the funds at that time and I withdraw the funds. So there. And after that, hindi na ako nag-withdraw sa aking YouTube channel or sa aking Google AdSense. I kept the money and right now it's almost $200 and I'm planning to keep the funds there until it will reach $1,000 again. Because of course, I have a goal. I want to buy an Osmo Pocket or maybe a vlogging camera, which is better, guys. So there. Which is better, vlogging camera or Osmo Pocket? Yung Osmo Pocket 23,000 lang guys, yung vlogging camera na Canon parang around 50,000 pag bumili ka. So whichever is going to be good for me, I will decide later on. Basta for now, I'm gonna um ipunin ko muna yung money ko sa Google AdSense. So there guys, yun yung YouTube story ko guys. So my advice for those aspiring aspiring vloggers or for those vloggers na na hindi pa na monetize na monetize na monetize yung account nyo guys wag nyo madaliin because pag minadali nyo siya minadali nyo na so sorry guys ah nahirapan ako mag tagalog minsan eh <laughs> hindi naman kasi ako tagalog taga iluilo ako yun so hindi ako magandang mag tagalog Kaya, nabubulol ako minsan. Now, so again, going back sa mga aspiring vloggers and sa mga nagmamadali or those who are in a hurry to monetize their channel. Guys, just be yourself whenever creating your contents. Huwag kayong magmadali, magmadali huwag kayong mag-sub for sub. I mean, it, it's really gonna help. But if you're pressuring yourself to reach this goal right away, nawawala yung sense or nawawala yung ano yung yung pagka ano niya, yung yung genuine genuinity genuinity ba yun? <laughs> Parang yung channel channel mo nawawala yung sense ng channel mo. Like for me na nga, it's my own opinion um about about it. I mean, it's it's nothing wrong to have a goal like this, but do not push it so hard that wala na siyang genuine genuinity. Parang hindi na siya totoo or parang hindi na siya maganda kasi of course everyone has a chance has a chance for this. Um so, kung sa akin nga, hindi ko siya pinilit. I mean, I'm not bragging, but for me, hindi ko siya pinilit. Eventually, it will just flow. So, yun. Just love what you're doing and you won't feel na parang ginawa mo siya or parang nagtrabaho ka ng sobra para to, to get this, this or to be in this point. Katulad ka ng unclutes, sila nung una i mean hobby lang nila yon like for me it was just my hobby it was just my passion creating videos and then later on my passion turned into profit <laughs> so there guys it was just a simple advice sa mga vloggers jan na mga new vloggers na hindi pa nagmamonetize yung account guys wag kayong magmadali just be yourself create those most creative contents be yourself guys because later on every, everything will come into place all right guys so i hope this video 
um, help you a lot. I hope nakatulong yung video na to sa inyo guys. Na-inspire ko kayo sa video na to. And um, of course now, our channel is growing. I'm already at 5,000 600 subscribers that's just this amount compared to mga sikat na vloggers guys but i'm happy about it because of course it's something that you didn't expect to happen but it is happening if this video helped you a lot guys don't forget to hit that like button and if na inspire kayo sa video ko kung merong ka inspire inspire sa video ko na to <laughs> click that um, like button and don't forget to click as well the subscribe button below and the bell icon right next to it for you to be updated of my future uploads guys so i'm a full-time stay-at-home mom already since i left the corporate world and i'm hoping that this 2019 i'll be able to upload more contents for you guys and at the same time add more contents like my sewing content or sewing videos because i'm also Aside from vlogging or reviewing products, guys, my other passion is sewing dresses, sewing costumes, and gowns. So I'm planning to add that as a content on my channel. And I do hope that you will support me, guys. So yeah, we'll see this year 2019. This is just the start of a bigger family and more contents. So thank you so much again for watching and bye!